All right, g'day guys, one more for the day. It's a day tomorrow and it's Friday afternoon and I'm slightly looking forward to a nice cold beer. I'm gonna get back to the new tool, components. You still got the old Ruby sketch here, which is still fantastic. You can get manufacturer's products over here. We've got something, if you're not online, you can still specify components, whether they be branded components or whether they be generic components you've got the ability to quantify what it is and you can associate brands with them later I'm going to go straight up here to my landscaping tool it allows me to do several cool things there is a multitude of things coming so we've got pools Woo uh, we've got fencing so we can go in here and we go submit and we can go and put a little fence in here nice little picket fence oh. right we can change the height we can change the size of our posts we can change everything and we can scale them out okay so we can just go quickly here, boom, and then we've got, we can change the spacings of everything. Okay, uh, let's have a look at what else we've got here. We've got an entry gate, submit, I might just scroll through that and go okay, entry gate. <coughs> Changed so much in here, like these are super powerful. So we've got the entrance length, we've got the back set, we've got you know the angle and the gates, the pier caps, heaps of cool information. You can change all of that, or you can scale it around like we did before. Uh, and I won't get too caught up in it because it's Friday Arvo. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Frog in the throat. Now we change this around. We'll move our little fence down to here. And we're quantifying as we go. So everything I'm specifying, I'm quantifying. These things are interactive as well. You can change the type of gate, you can change the slope in the gate, and the new ones will come out with materials. All right, so let's have a bit of a look. What else have we got here? We've got picket fences. we got, you know, heaps of different types of things, guys. Check them out. Pool, I think the pool's cool. Sorry about the rhyming. Wasn't intentional. Right, we can change the size of our pool. We can change the width of our pool, the depth of our pool, shallow end, steep end, tile cappings, everything you want to change in a pool, I think. At the moment, we've just got a square one. Uh, we're looking for some pool suppliers to be involved here so we can put a brand in there. Uh, so by all means, give them a call and say you guys should be in Plaspec. We all know they should be anyway. Alright, let's move it over to here. <coughs> Obviously if I put a door in there, we're going to fall straight in the pool. Um, so I might move it away a touch. Right, what else have we got here? Okay, we've got a little bit of sediment fence. Something that we need in construction and it's something that is regularly forgotten. Submit. We might say we've got a downhill slope here. <clears throat> we can change the length, the height, the spacings of the posts, a whole heap of things there. Uh, or we can simply scale them out like everything else just to make it easier and say we need sediment fence all the way across here. Right? It'll take off. It'll tell us how much sediment fence we've got, how much fencing we've got, gates, posts, cappings, so many things. Okay? Um, what else have we got in here? I'm learning this as I go. Temporary fence, another thing that really is required construction someone trips over that sediment fence we got a lawsuit coming let's stick away from that it's Anzac Day tomorrow right sediment fence out it goes boom uh, sorry I said sediment fence but site safety fence <coughs> these are things that are going to go into the progress of the job you'll notice that everything I've drawn and something I've probably forgotten to mention was that when I do a takeoff from this a cancel and do a takeoff everything is going into the order that you would normally order it okay so for instance usually we would organize our engineering before we would do our um, site setup because usually it takes a little bit extra time to get done site setups next termite barrier if I put a concrete slab in it will come with a termite barrier everything's starting to go into an order that we would buy it okay furniture is the last thing external landscaping definitely happens after internal finishes yet if you do decide that you want to um, schedule these around by all means do it you should see some cool things that are coming with that later <coughs> all right um, where else are we at let's go back up to our tool okay um, so we did that we got awnings and so on so I guess the best way to show this is probably to turn shadows on and and have a bit of a look at what's going on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a roof on this building walls select connected walls <coughs> And I'm going to go, I should have actually said walls, generate roof from walls. Okay, choose the type of roofing that we want to use, the pitch of the roof, type of gutter, eaves, overhangs, and so on. 
quickly put that roof on. Right, we have our tin that's on the roof, we have our cappings, we even have overhang into the gutters so that we can get the right quantities of materials very, very quickly. Let's have a look and see how the shadows interact with this building. You'll notice that the steel beams hanging out there, that can also be fixed. <clears throat> I'm going to get back to the shadows because that's what I was talking about. Uh, and I'm going to minimize this so we can grab it out later. I'll probably forget and make a mistake when I do. I'm going to turn my shadows on. SketchUp is brilliant at doing shadows. Okay, so it's very obvious here that, that the back of this house is going to cop sun. With SketchUp you can go through the times of days and the month of year. So winter being that the sun is in different locations. So month and time. Okay. <clears throat> I can see that I'm going to need a shadow, uh, something to shade that window to get it to comply so that my energy ratings work, uh, especially if I had it as a gable. So I might say, you know what, this roof is actually going to be a gable. Click here, go submit. <coughs> right, I now have a gable. You can see the wall's not high enough. Go back to my walls. Quickly change the wall to gable computer's got about 30 things open guys and it's uh, and it's only an old jigger. Let's have a look here, a fine detail. Cable pitch on the roof, <coughs> 22 and a half I think it was from memory. I also need to tell it that the roof, that the wall is a gable. Uh, still incomplete fields you'll notice, yeah I thought I wrote that in, obviously it didn't properly. Submit. <coughs> now I have a gable roof, the shadows are even worse now so I'm never going to get that window to comply. I can do several things. I can go in and I can give it special glass. So I can go to here and say, you know what? We're going to put in some special type of glass to reflect the sun. And it's one way of doing it. Uh, so I can simply go to here and go to my materials and say, you know what? Standard glass is not going to cut the mustard in this particular thing. I'm going to put low E glass in here. You know what? I might even put um, solar tint on it. Go submit. <coughs> this has also come through into my estimate. But, you know what, it still may not comply, it might be due north, I haven't located the job. And we're going to have to go back and use my favourite tool, the week. Uh, and I'm going to, oh, here it is, it's sitting down the bottom, I knew I'd mess that up. And I'm going to go back to my screening. Okay, so I've got screening, I can choose the type, vertical awnings, uh, awning louvers. I go flat awning and go submit. I can drop it to a wall, so it means the first thing I need to do is I need to select the wall, select the wall, go drop to wall, and now I can choose where I want it to go in. Or I could simply just go, sometimes with a clear view like this it, it can also be difficult, but I'm going to put it here, it's automatically locating it where I want it to go, and I can go submit. Now I can see I'm starting to get some shadow there. If I undid that, and I just wanted to test it out. I just push Control Z. I'm going to go here and go submit. I can choose my awning. One thing good about these awnings is I can move them up and down. I can move them in and out. You see over here, I've got my overhang depth, my length, uh, number of brackets, and I can also scale them. So you can choose what how you want these to work. Move it back out here, and I might make it the roof thickness a little bit thicker, I might make it 50 millimeters and I might want three brackets because it's going to be heavier and I might make it, I don't know, come out 1200 instead. <coughs> now I can quantify the amount of sun that I'm going to get, I'm going to close this down so it doesn't catch me again. Right, I can now see what's going on. I might even need to go more, the tinting and the shading might be sufficient, yet yeah, it's a super cool way to be able to figure out what's going on. Those other ones are the same. I can put the louvers on the windows if, if this wasn't going to comply. Um, and I can go and do a whole heap more things. And due to the fact that it is Friday afternoon and I'm at 9 minutes 25, I'm not even going to do that, guys. Have a great weekend. And uh, I'm sure you're going to look forward to our new cool tool. All right. Cheers, guys.